Hey guys, I'm Mona on the Trill, and today, uh, well, we just saw Jim Gregory a second ago from Boots Off, and uh, he's here to pick up some aqua blazers, and we're gonna go try and catch him and do an interview with him. We'll catch you then. Alright, so we're back. We're gonna interview all these aqua blazers, and uh, yeah. I guess we'll start from here and go that way. Okay. Uh, hey, what's your trail name? Patches. Okay, uh, let me take more questions. I didn't have any plans for this, so. <laughs> How did you like the Aqua Blaze? I loved it. It was gorgeous, relaxing, and I didn't have to use my legs. There you go. What was your favorite part of it? Uh, my favorite part was probably right there. <laughs> Getting <laughs> done. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, right outside of Baltimore, Maryland. Cool. Okay. How much of the show have you had? The whole thing. Cool. Here we go. I guess we're going to move on to the next part. Plus, plus, plus. Alright, what's your show name? Snot Rocket or. Recent, most recently, Sugar Mamie. Okay, uh, where are you from? I'm from East, Northeastern Pennsylvania. Okay. What's been your favorite part of the trail so far? All the waterfalls. Did you see Laurel Falls outside of Boots Off? Uh, yes. Yes, those I think were the biggest ones we've seen. Awesome. Yeah, we we hike there sometimes, don't we, Odin? Mm -hmm. I just went there from the top down uh, for a 4-H thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 40, right? And then, no, 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 130, and we offer blades. <laughs> <laughs> um, we traded a squirt gun for some beer. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a lot of mo of mountain goat falling in, like tipping over in his canoe. <laughs> <laughs> and him, well, actually, him, him's trying to get back in. Is what I got on video. So that was cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your channel name? I'm Groot. 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 Four sixty, four fifty. Wherever I am. Yeah. About the same as then. Start in Georgia. We all started. Uh, I did the approach, so some people didn't do the approach. I got a few more miles than some, but uh, I, yeah, I, I did the approach. I think most people, most of us, I think did the approach. So, yeah. but uh, yeah. So, uh, what was your favorite part of the Aqua Blade? I don't know, staying cool, like being able to get out of the kayak and take a dip without uh, just being sweaty the whole time. Like it's wet from water, not wet from sweat. Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah. Nice change of pace. That was nice. <laughs> nice change of pace. Good. It's cool off. Take a little dip and cool off a little bit. It's beautiful. What do you think about what Tata Lake? It's beautiful. I think it's definitely very, it's very beautiful and it's awesome that there's like so much activity in here too because it creates like a good social environment to kind of interact with people. And it does. Yeah. Okay, uh, where are you I'm from Madison, Wisconsin. Cool. Okay. Uh, what's your channel name? Oh my God, I am yeah, Porcupine. Porcupine. <laughs> oh my God. I'm assuming I'm already going to know the answer to this question. Yeah, I think we've all hiked about the same. Okay. Except for yeah. Okay. Well, he has hiked it already once before. Oh, He's wow. Everything. 
Oh, triple crown? Except for extra, no, he's not, not, yet. not yet. Not yet. And then the CDT is next, right? Yeah. Because you've done the PCT. Wow, very cool. Yeah. Um, okay. You'll have to come back and we'll interview our first triple crowner. Oh yeah, we're planning a camping trip to that island. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's beautiful. It's really nice, shady. Yeah, the sun for a little bit. Awesome. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Instead of the restaurant? Awesome. Okay. Where are you from? I am from Salford, Louisiana. Oh, cool. Very small, cool. Small town in Salford. All right. Very cool. What's your town name? Uh, so my name's uh, Trail Pope. Trail Pope. Cool. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part of the so. What's your, er, yeah. How much of the trail have you hiked? So this, uh, I said, well, all right. So this year I started in Florida. I uh, started down in uh, Oasis Visitor Center on the Florida Trail. So started that back in January 25th. And I bought the Florida Trail, the Pinoti, and now the Wow, very cool. Yes. And how many miles will that be total when you get finished? Uh, just on the main trails, it's like 3,800. But then there are a little bit of roadblocks in between to connect the two. Okay. And then uh, I actually plan on after this, uh, when I hit down south from Katahdin, I'll probably do the New England Trail, and that's another 215 for the year. Wow, very cool. Oh, it's not too bad. Very cool. <laughs> Two chefs. Something to, to strive for right there, Odin. Yeah. Uh, originally from New York, but uh, I now live in Death Valley, like right on the border of Cali and Nevada, a little town called Pahrump on the Nevada side. Oh, neat, yeah. yeah. It's a cool spot. There's nothing to do, but it's wow, cool. yeah. <laughs> it's all the walk. It's just, it's just sand. It's a, we got the one mountain between us and Vegas. It's about twelve thousand feet, and then going the other way over the little hill, but like right in my backyard at Steps Valley, right there. Whoa, yeah. yeah. Don't forget to check out Boots Off. Oh, yeah, don't forget to check out Boots Off. And the Aqua and Blaze Aqua on Blaze. Watauga Lake. We actually call it the Watauga Lake Boots Off Aqua Blaze. It's a eight to ten mile paddle that uh, hikers you can do it northbound or southbound. Actually, if you're doing it in reverse, you start here. But otherwise, we put them in just by the hostel at Rat Branch Bow Ramp. We show them all this on a map and explain to them some routes, and they can stop at a big island, usually hang out, go swimming. Um, and then they paddle this way. There's other islands to stop at. There's a restaurant at the end here. Um, it usually takes four to six hours, sometimes eight hours if they hang out and play, you know, play in the water. It just depends on how they want to do it. Some people have done it in less than four if they're in a hurry and they just want to paddle. But it's just to have a fun lake day. It's really what it's about. It's enjoy the water, enjoy the weather. Just take a break. They get to work a different muscle group. That's the other thing. A lot of times hikers, you know, they get big strong legs, but their arms become like noodles. <laughs> and so uh, this works their arms and upper body a little bit, their torso. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So, what do you think people like most about the Aqua Blaze? I think they just like to mix it up. Hikers, uh, a lot of hikers only do the a Appalachian Trail one time uh, and they want the experience. And so they try to have as many experiences during their journey. You know, now some are all about walking past every white blaze and that's totally fine. It's, it's however people want to do it. They say hike your own hike. Some people want to take a break and they will do a paddle for the day, get some 20 miles of trails. Now other people come back to Boots Off 
stay another night, they, they'll hike the mile still, or they'll go the next day. I mean, there's, there's so many different variations of how to do things. Uh, we just try to customize it. Well, you can hike it all and then get a yeah, shuttle back, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. You can hike it all and get a shuttle. I mean, it's really kind of what the group wants to do, or, or part of the group wants to do one thing, the other part does the other. We try to accommodate everybody the best we can. But yeah, man, I appreciate it. And you talked to a few hikers, too. Oh, what date? Did they say it was a good aqua place? Uh -huh. They had fun? Mm -hmm. Good. I didn't get to see that part, but I'm sure I'll catch the video, so I appreciate it. Any other questions? Uh, I don't think so. I oh. can't think of any right now. No, that's all right, so man. Well, let's any... nope. well, let's don't forget to tell them that Jim's going to be doing a 4th of July extravaganza. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, it's a Boots Off 4th. You know, everybody knows we like to have a good time. We've got... A yum yum food truck. Uh, actually, he actually has a trailer over here where we're at right now. Um, Bo, he's a great guy. We've got Riverside Tap House selling uh, from a, a beer tent. They're going to be selling some tasty beverages. And then we have uh, two bands, um, Individually Twisted, and uh, I'm going to forget the other name, but it's all on the website. Um, we have day pass tickets if those aren't going to spend the night, but we also have camping and lodging. It is Sunday the 4th. It's actually on the 4th. A lot of people are doing things on the 3rd. So uh, we expect people to be showing up around noon and just kind of having a good time as we usually do, getting ready for the festivities and the music to begin, I think, around 4 or 5 o'clock. Food truck and the, the beer truck, everything will be set up early. Um, so we look, people, look forward to people coming out and just enjoying, enjoying the day. And if they want to continue the party into the night after... Uh, the show and after the fireworks then they should uh, book something for overnight stay and we're going to have a good time probably till the wee hours as we do awesome <laughs> awesome and right. earlier that day there will be a boat parade oh, on yes, Watauga Lake you guys going to be in the boat parade we're right? planning on it yes yep, we are I think mommy's even going to make us a banner are you there it's great on the trail banner. awesome yeah. yay yeah. That's gonna be awesome, man. Well, we look forward to seeing that. You're gonna hopefully do a video of it, right? Yeah. You wanna see that? Yeah. That's great, man.